This video demonstrates the design and implantation of a bioresorbable occluder, typically performed by interventional cardiologists for treatment of atrial septal defect. The locking ring is extracted from inside the occluder by pulling the locking line to lock the occluder. After locking, the occluder forms a double disc structure. Withdraw the locking line. Here's the simulation of the occluder implantation process in vitro. Release the left disc of the occluder. Release the right disc of the occluder. Lock the occluder. Withdraw the locking line. The occluder is released by unscrewing the steel cable counterclockwise. This is the final shape of the occluder after complete release. Implantation of the bioresorbable occluder. Advance the catheter and super stiff guide wire through the femoral vein into the right atrium. Maneuver the catheter into the left atrium, place the guide wire in the pulmonary vein and withdraw the catheter. Insert a 14 French catheter delivery sheath along the guide wire. Remove the dilator and guide wire from the sheath. The sheath exhibits a double rail sign in the left atrium. Load the occluder. Deliver the occluder to the left atrium. Release the left disc into the left atrium by pulling the locking line. Position the left disc against the septum. Release the right disc into the right atrium. The echocardiogram confirms proper occluder positioning and shape. Extract the locking ring from the occluder by pulling the locking line to secure it. A push-pull test confirms the occluder is securely locked. Withdraw the locking line. Release the occluder by unscrewing the steel cable counterclockwise. Withdraw the steel cable. The echocardiogram confirms proper position and shape and there is not damage to the surrounding tissues.